talking about uh, forest our uh, life in this uh, few important question answers we started discussing yesterday today also we are going with that one the first one is that uh, write about uh, short description on the uh, forest of telangana okay for that one uh, yes first one write a short description of forest of telangana So see here, what are the, um, what is that, write a short description of forest of Telangana. So, Telangana lies in the plateau region. Rainfall here is less compared to the plains. Means near to the plains, what will happen? They will have coastal regions, means rivers and seas will be there. But in plateaus, we won't have. And rainfall here is very less compared to the plains. So, forests here are the deciduous forests. Which forests will be present here? This is deciduous forest will be there and uh, which shed their leaves in summer commonly found trees are what are the common trees are found here are neem, take, amla, acacia, soap nuts, sandwich, sandalwood and also thorny bushes will be present here. Animals commonly found are elephants, tiger, fox, blackbird, deer, monkey and snakes. These are the animals we can uh, see in Telangana region. 
what the point it is a plateau region rainfall will be very less here deciduous forest will be there leaves shut down in summer season and different uh, types of trees are neem jay karla soap nuts uh, sandalwood etc and chronic vicious uh, plants will be present and animals are elephant tiger fox blackbird deer monkey and the snakes sir. now let us go to the next answer Second one, describe the work done by Vana Samrakshana Samiti. So see here the next answer. Describe the work done by here, Vana Samrakshana Samiti in Shringavarapu Kota. For that, it is an area inhabited by a Koya tribes. The Samiti has involved tribal people in growing trees. Like which type of trees they are growing? Bamboo, Karata, Rosewood, Tamarind, Amla, etc. Which will fetch good income for them. Okay, and 
they uh, they have also constructed bunds for what purpose uh, to prevent soil erosion they take care that uh, no one unauthorized person enters uh, the forest means uh, who are not related to the forest they will not uh, they will not allow and what will happen now uh, soil erosion will be taking place and uh, because of this bamboo karaka rosewood tamarind and uh, amla they will uh, have the income uh, if they sell that one and uh, who are involved uh, only the tribal people who live in the forest are involved in this and uh, who did all these things uh, that was done, done by vana samrakshana samiti people what the point uh, let us go for the next one What is social forestry? Answer for that. So coming to here, what is uh, social forestry? Okay, the government has uh, earmarked, earmarked certain areas uh, for growing trees. People in that area work as a community and plant uh, the trees. It is their uh, responsibility to, to see that uh, the trees grow well. This is called uh, social forestry. Means uh, planting of the trees uh, um, in government areas or in normal places uh, means to develop uh, to stop the pollution or global warming and to increase ecosystem uh, for this that the trees grow well uh, this is called the uh, social forestry they call it as a uh, kardika vanam andhra pradesh is the first state to try it out uh, even in telangana also we are having this uh, did you understand uh, so what did you understand what is social forestry planting of uh, new trees uh, now let us go for the next answer
So coming to here, why are tribals evicted from the forest? For two things, they are evicted from the forest. For what purpose? To convert their settlements into township or factory sites and to bring them to the mainstream. Means they have to know about the society, they should learn, they also should learn the education and they also should earn money for that purpose where they learn to live like and like others also. Did you understand how they are evicted for two things? What are those to convert their settlements into townships or factory sites and to bring them to the mainstream where they learn to live like and like others. So with this today's topic was completed. Tomorrow I will continue. Thank you.